Ooh, welcome back to The Sims 4, and today we're doing the 10k starter house challenge. The rules are, we must build at least one separate bedroom, one separate bathroom, no custom content. The minimum object requirements, one sink, one toilet, one shower, one dining table, one chair, at least two kitchen counters, a stove, a refrigerator, a trash can, a bed, and a sofa. So let's get into the build. Now, as you're familiar with our sim, Evie Edwards, we've moved her from Willow Creek to Oasis Springs because we're fast approaching winter in the game and I want to keep playing as this sim and building her money back up because in the last episode we just made 10,000 simoleons in 10 days and that was an achievement I thought was going to be a struggle but we did it in six days. Um, so when we build this house and get back into playing the game, um, I'm going to try doing getting 10,000 in five days. Uh, but back to the speed build. So what I liked, I had lots of ideas. <laughs> Disclaimer, um, I am terrible at building in The Sims 4. I've built maybe four houses in the entire five years I've owned the game. Um, but I, I enjoy a challenge and I, I honestly have enjoyed starting doing these videos and yeah. I um, picked up some tips and one tip uh, is that if you build diagonally you get more space for less money. And I wanted to put the door on the side just because I liked where it met up with the land. You see the land there and it, we can walk out of our door and go down to the fishing hole quicker. And then we've got space outside for a garden. But I used auto window and this is some, a tool I never use. And I noticed that it shrank these windows these 30 simoleon windows. This is one of the reasons that I had the wall height so high is because I wanted to maximize the natural light in the house because we're going to spend as little money as we can on buying lighting. So we're going to use the cheap windows and we're going to use the glass roof. Now, this is where I plan the bathroom to be, and I decided to go with these windows from Jungle Adventure because I felt they were 30 simoleons and they allowed a, a little bit of privacy. Um, so I'm just checking here what the requirements are, and you can also check how much the value the value of the house is and we gotta keep it under ten thousand. So now here we here we have an interesting interesting feature is that the rules didn't say anything about not using cheats and so I used the show hidden objects cheat so that I could have access to every object in the game including these crafted objects which usually you would need to have your, a sim build and reach a certain handiness level before they can craft these sinks, toilets and bathtub. So just using the um, the cheat, we, uh, we have them in game and they are serviceable and cheap. And the theme of this house is cheap but spacious because I want to grow and nurture this house and build upon it. Um, oh god, it took me ages to find the toilet roll holder. Um, I never put one in but I love adding these little clutter touches. So I wanted to put in a toilet roll holder 
and a towel just because it may be small but I want it to be welcoming <laughs> um, yeah I had to scooch things over a bit in order to fit a door um, I think if you turn sheets on turn the move objects sheet on which we do later on we could have fit that doll but I just wanted to keep it serviceable for the, for the moment. So as you can see when I move the windows they expand compared to the ones on the side. I don't know what that is about. Look, look, at, so this is the window we auto placed and then this is the one we placed manually and they're completely different sizes. Um, I kind of like the size that it shrank it to so I kept it um, and I wanted the kitchen counters to match the windows so I went for these green ones a little bit more expensive but quite honestly um, it's worth getting a little bit more expensive counters don't get don't skimp on counters because if you prepare food on Ex the more expensive counter you prepare food on, the higher quality food will be. Not it's not necessarily about the stove that it's, it's prepared on, but it is it is conducive to the fridge that you, we have, and we we do have a cheap fridge for the moment. Um, but we did spend a lot of money on the recyclable trash can because a recyclable trash can is honestly it's free money and I will when we get to it I'll show you how quickly it's another camera thing remember when we took photos using the camera and you essentially get free money um, same thing can be done with the recyclable trash can. You just get a free glass of water and drag it into the trash can and you get 10 simoleons. So it's always worth having a recyclable trash can. It may cost a lot, but totally worth it. In my opinion. Now, here's where I planned the bedroom to be and I wanted a comfy bed but a cheap bed so I didn't want an uncomfortable bed um, but I splurged for the double one just in case Evie had any company and I put it in a place that we could not access it so I moved this later on in the game and I have to punch it up against the wall so as it turns out only Evie can get inside it anyway. I wanted to go with a very earthy natural flesh tone for this build because we are going to be using terrain paints because terrain paints are free so it's great I mean concrete is free too so I'm I, I, but there's only one like pattern of concrete, whereas um, you can have multiple shades of terrain paint, and I just I had this idea and I rolled with it because it's completely free, and I think. It didn't look too bad. One shade for the kitchen, one shade for the living room, one shade for the bedroom, and one shade for the bathroom. Now, here we uh, have a running theme in my videos, which is the, this TV will turn off by Andal TV standby. Press a key to keep it on warning message that always comes up in my videos and I apologize profusely but you know 
I just get so into the build that I don't realize how long I have been filming for. And this build took over basically almost two hours. So that is what it is. I was really proud with how I made this terrain paint look like in-game flooring. That would be something really good is if somebody could turn the terrain paint into a flooring tile. I bet somebody has done that in custom content. So I went with this. Um, sort of stone and decking for the outside of the house that is from Seasons as I really liked that I could have multiple styles of like either just the siding or just the stones and it adds characters to the outside of the house which one of the my big downfalls in building <laughs> one of is the fact that um that I, the outside looks terrible and doesn't <laughs> i'm terrible at landscaping um so i actually i'm i, I wanted this to not stand out like just a box in the middle of, of the neighborhood so i i took extra attention to detail and added some columns you know gave it that angled entryway and what else did I do yeah I had stones for the stone windows pa wood panels for one side and then a mixture of stones and wood panels then I added these little planters just for aesthetic you know to keep it in with the dry desert theme of Oasis Springs um yeah I I I'm really really proud <laughs> so don't take that away from me I wasn't sure how much embellishment I wanted um, so I just kept it down to those two planters and I don't think I ended up up oh, yeah I don't think I ended up putting a single wall decoration on the inside of the house um, thought about building a tree but honestly I mean we've spent 7,000 simoleons already uh, so yeah here is where I take advantage of that um, glass roof that was introduced in the patch update and I love it because it lets in all the natural light um, not very, um, realistic because in Oasis Springs, if you had a completely glass roof, you would just burn. <laughs> it would be like, it would be like a solarium, like a, con like a, a completely permanent conservatory. So what I will do in the future is just keep the glass roof to a minimum, maybe just over the kitchen, and then I'll have regular roof uh, later on. But I added the flower enragement from Seasons because I wanted Evie to become skilled in something that she can sell for a profit maybe open up her own retail store 
Then I bought myself some basic, um, oh yeah, I put in a garden hose just for aesthetic. I really like the garden hose. Then I bought some, what did I buy? Oh yeah, I bought it. I bought some starter herbs and starter vegetables, um, just to plant instead of harvesting them in the game because it takes a, a while to find all different types and I want to use natural ingredients in my cooking because they make cooking better and that's another advantage of having the show hidden objects cheat on is that you can just place them in the game but you have to drag them into your inventory before you can plant them in the soil so um we went for two different like stones for the kitchen and then I I just settled on sort of this gothic wallpaper from Vampire the game pack that introduced vampires to the game. Uh, so I used that for the green in the bedroom and sort of a earthy tone for the living room, the, the everything room as it was. Um, I put in a, a, a yoga mat and a, an easel, but I plan to, there's a lot of room for expansion. Now these lights are part of the show hidden objects, they're free, they are aesthetic lights from the Jungle Adventure Pack and I think they're the best lights in the game um, because they're hidden, like you can't turn them on and off but they're just so gentle and guess what? They're free! So perfect for this build. Um, and really make it look nice on a night time. I should have put in actual lights over the kitchen counters. But I ended up running out of money. So we'll do that when we get some more money. Uh, but I put a column here to differentiate between the two rooms. Uh, there's the yoga mat, because I want Evie to, I know she's a lazy sim, but I don't want her to be an unhealthy sim. Now I thought about getting some of these craftable instruments, but screw it, I just went for the easel. So that concludes our 10,000 Simoleon build. She looks nice on the outside, and there's the garden. There's Evie planting her new herbs and vegetables. And there she is walking into her own house. I'm really excited to build upon this house because it's just a shell. You know, that's where she can work out in front of the TV. It's where she can cook food, learn how to cook got an extra chair for inviting a friend over. Here's the bathroom and everything works. She can fit in the toilet. Sure <laughs> she can fit in the toilet. She can fit in the bathtub. And the bedroom which I, I uh, couldn't unfortunately she can't have a friend over. But we'll work on that when we get a bit more money. So thank you for watching this. 